Day 16 of Detroit Lions training camp is in the books, and today was the very last day that fans could be in attendance and also the very last joint practice as we face off against the Jacksonville Jaguars on Saturday afternoon at 1 p.m. By the way, that game will be nationally televised, so you don't have to be local to watch it anywhere. You can watch it anywhere in the United States, so everyone can check out the Detroit Lions, all my um, nationwide Detroit Lions fans. But today... Today was a day that the defense had to prove itself after yesterday. All we heard from yesterday, especially like Jags media, that the Lions were getting toasted when it came to defense and that they had some work to do, that Trevor Lawrence was lighting them up. And, and the Jacksonville Jaguars will be a threat. I'm not personally scared of them in a real game situation, but they, just like us, are a very up-and-coming team, very young, got some great, great draft picks, and they're going to be a problem in the AFC for probably many, many years to come as our we. But again, according to Pride of Detroit, let's take a look at some situational drills and some seven on sevens and see just how our defense was able to do. Starting off, it says the Jaguars offense opened up practice with a sequence of red zone seven on seven drills. The first four reps began around the 20 yard line. The second four were from the 10 yard line or closer. The first team offense could only manage to find the end zone twice in those eight plays. Trevor Lawrence missed on a pair of throws to Calvin Ridley. Coverage was tight on both attempts, once by C.J. Gardner-Johnson and once by Kirby Joseph. However, there were two successful conversions, both to Zay Jones against Cameron Sutton in coverage. On the first, zone, Jones beat him clearly by a couple of footsteps with a nice juke for a 20-yard TD. On the second conversion, Lawrence lobbed a perfect ball just barely out of reach of an outstretched Sutton for the score. It's been a rough couple of days for Sutton on the outside, but this is great practice for him against a strong receiving core. Malcolm Rodriguez saw a lot of action come his way with the second units for both teams on the field. He batted down a pass to running back Snoop Connor twice, or nicely, but was beat by rookie tight end Brenton Strange for a touchdown. Rodrigo was also called for holding on that touchdown to Strange. That's a name we haven't heard much of. Malcolm Rodriguez, because our linebacker core with the emergence of Derek Barnes and the arrival of Jack Campbell has gotten much better than last year. And Rodrigo, like the superstar from last year, is kind of relegated to, to the background. But it was good to see the the defense rebound. And I'm not worried about Cam Sutton. He's going to be solid, and he's our best chance at the number one corner. But it was good to see him rebound because you heard yesterday that basically the Jacksonville Jaguars were having their way when it came to deep shots. We saw one where Calvin really caught a 50-yard bomb on um, Jerry Jacobs, and he also got called for a pass interference today. Again, this is just practice, but it's, it's good to mimic these game situations. But as far as deep shots taken down the field, let's continue. On Wednesday, the Jaguars were able to connect on three deep shots against the Lions defense. Detroit pretty much stopped that completely on Thursday. The one deep play the Jaguars connected on was with a, the third team offense. Jacksonville receiver Tim Jones simply outran Chase Lucas over the middle of the field for a big game. Against the first team, Lions safety C.J. Gardner-Johnson came away with an easy pick after an ill-advised throw from Lawrence. Pressured by both Aiden Hutchinson and Isaiah Bugs, Lawrence lofted a prayer to Ridley. The ball hung up there, and Gardner-Johnson or Sutton could have picked it off, but it was Gardner-Johnson who walked away with it. Later in practice, Lawrence tried to target Evan Ingram down the right sideline. Gardner-Johnson came from across the field to break up that pass, with one fully extended arm. Unfortunately, Jerry Jacobs was rightfully flagged on the play for grabbing Ingram. Again, I have said this over and over and over that Jerry Jacobs is not a number two, but we can debate that in the comment section. Then it goes on to talk about some situational plays between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Detroit Lions. And you know what I realize? is going to be a problem. Aiden Hutchinson is going to be a problem. He was half a yard, half a sack shy of double-digit sacks in his first year and completely robbed of Defensive Rookie of the Year. He's, he knows that. <laughs> He's internalized that, 
And this guy is, is he's put on some muscle. He's going to be a problem for year two. So that's going to, he's pretty much all, all training camp long. All we've been hearing about is Aiden Hutchinson and how much of a problem he's going to be in year two. So it was good to see our defense kind of rebound from yesterday. It kind of went like it did against the New York Giants where we kind of, they got the better of us day two and we got the better of them day one. But that's what these joint practices are for is to go up against some different competition. The Lions walked away with the win against the New York Giants and maybe we can duplicate that against the Jacksonville Jaguars on Saturday. Again, the Game is going to be nationally televised, so you can check that out. Make sure you don't miss it. We will have a live stream watch party as well for those who can't be in front of the TV with game sound like we've been doing for uh, during the previous year. And if you have not yet gotten a ticket to the watch party for week two, consider looking down in the description, getting one $15, gets you drink specials and a pizza buffet. And we are going to be watching this thing on like a 200-inch uh, Drumblechon uh, it's going to be exciting. So I hope to see you there and get your ticket before they're all gone. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.